to Lake Lands for the IRFU coverage of tonight's Energy Abatement Cup final between Terranure and Buccaneers. The ground starting to fill up. Dan Mooney on commentary alongside Michelle Claffey. A quick look at the Terranure College team. The front rows Campbell Class and Levi Vaughan, Adam Chute, Captain Harrison Brewers in the second row with Michael Melia, Adam Melia, Jordan Cochran and Niall Lawler make up the back row. Alan Benny is at nine, James Thornton at ten, Caelan Dooley and Stephen O'Neill in the centre. And the back three, Craig Adams on one wing, Sam Cochran, Murray on the other and Adam Legrew at fullback in a very strong Terranure College RFC team. For Buccaneers, the front rows James Kelly, Stephen Lombard, Martin Staunton, with Fun McDonald, Rory Byrne in the second row. Sean O'Connell, Luke Balziger, and Cahill Walsh make up the back row. Frank Hopkins and Michael Hanley are the half back pairing. Centres are Stephen Mannion and Connor Fitzgibbon. And the wingers, Ross Murphy Sweeney, Harry Balziger, the brother, and Andrew Evans makes up the 15, the full back position. Michelle Claffey is with me on commentary. Michelle, it's a cold night for a game of rugby. It's a cold, crisp evening here in Terranure, absolutely. But the crowd's starting to appear out on a very snow-bordered pitch. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. When you're playing in, in conditions like this, I mean, is this something you have to prepare for? Is it? Does it change tactics uh, prior to a game, knowing that it's going to be this cold? Does it affect how you approach the game of rugby? I think you just have to wear your warm, warm clothes as you're warming up and try to get the, some heat into the body and then just realise that once the game is on your hands going to get cold, try to keep it warm uh, luckily for the forwards when they're at scrum time they'll be nice and warm with them wingers I think they'll be cold tonight Where we'll see what they're made of Michelle Really good vision though there from Michael Hanley to just nudge that over the top of Terranure because their line speed was putting them under pressure got in behind turn Terranure but their, their, their scramble was excellent the ball kept in play not finding touch the second penalty of the game and Ian Evans gets his hands on it and then puts his boot on it and the result is pretty much the same it goes into touch inside the 22 just outside the 22 and so Terranure will have the attacking option that's two errors unforced very early from both sides on penalties weather is hardly having anything to do with that is it? It is Cup Rugby it's a final so maybe a few nerves out there coupled with the, the weather <laughs> it is Connor McCormick who's in for Levi Vaughan, his throw is good to the tail of the Terran Your lineout. Harrison Brewer collected, and a Maul looks to get moving. Jordan Cochran adding his weight to that as McCormick joins the back. It's shifting left and right, and it's going forward at the same time. Buccaneers have a lot of work to do to compete with this and try and slow down the momentum the Terran Your have. It looks as though they're not going to be able. It's still five meters out. It's still the same Maul. The referee says that's once, but it looks as though Terran Your are going to go all the way to this line. There's surely no stopping them from here. They're on the deck. Is the ball down? No, it's at the back. Alan Benny needs to get his hands on it. Lovely little reverse pass inside. Popped up. And it looks as though the try has been scored and has been scored. Lovely reverse pass from Alan Benny. Fooling everyone, including this commentator. And tearing your score in the corner. And that's really made by Benny, isn't it? Excellent work with the nine, but can we just talk with the, that mall from the forwards off that line? Out. What an excellent drive forward. You can see Alan Benny had no interest in taking that ball out. He knew and he trusted his forwards to take that and just close the space and get nice and close to the try line. That reverse pass, no luck, everything got everybody. Caelan Dooley. Or for Mr. Thornton to go for the posts. Really good kind of tackle there by Harry Balsinger and then unfortunately just got his timing a little bit off on the collect. I suppose there wasn't enough distance on that as a clearance kick uh, to be a, an exit. And Terran opt to put the pressure on. As we see, Levi Vaughan has come back into the game. So presumably that was a blood substitution. Levi Vaughan is back in and will have the throw into the Terran lineups at the 22. To the tail it goes once again it's Melia at the back and once again Terranure set up this mall it's been a potent weapon in the opening 10 minutes of this game Levi Vaughan controlling at the back this time it's a little bit more broken and Alan Benny says give it to me and there's nobody at home and Alan Benny races through to touchdown it looked like he may look for the pass he saw the gap open up in front of him and Alan Benny runs in one of the most easy scores he's going to get all season just the power and the strength of that mall just pulled that last Buccaneers defender in I mean they're just a little bit too wide on it their backs turned didn't know one last jump in yeah just a bit of disorganisation in, in the defensive line from Buccaneers unfortunately and left a very easy run in for Benny plenty, of, in plenty of experience yeah plenty of experience wearing the Buccaneers crest so really exciting here to see him today the kick is long and drops deep collected 
and the kick goes back and really well taken in the backfield and Ivan has his hands on it. He puts a Gary on high up and chases after his own kick. It's going to drop and it's spilled forward and the ball is there to be played and it will be a penalty. Excellent. The knock on and then a player playing in front makes it offside. A penalty to Buccaneers. Not an easy kick by any means the distance involved. But there's no breeze. Given how cold it is. I'm quite for that. The kick is slotted and Buccaneers are on the board. It's now Terenor 14, Buccaneers 3, just shy of 15 minutes played. And they'll be pleased with that considering it's been a slow start. It's carries in the loose. They've been strong so far. And our commentator's curse. He has absolutely ruined it for Mr. Lombard and Terenor have in midfield and looking to carry heavy through traffic. Support players are there, Alan Benny. Popping it up, Cochrane, a lovely reverse pass inside, and there's a break on. And Buccaneers need to scramble back and get some hands on this. Benny, quick to it, ops for the second man out. Lovely pass, is their shoulders to go through? Carry is inside. Green Adams looks to break through two tackles. The lovely little dink through kick. Is it going to go too far? No, it's not. It's going to pop up for Adam McGrew, and McGrew touches down for Terenure's third try of the game to take it to 19 points to three. Frank Hopkins will have the feed. Terran York turned the screw and Hopkins needs to get his hand on it and just about does get it out. He's done really well. Hanley into midfield. Lovely carry in midfield from Connor Fitzgibbon. And there's a penalty advantage coming, so free play for Buccaneers. Lovely little carry into traffic. It's given again. Hopkins into midfield. Are there soft shoulders to aim at for Buccaneers? Terran York picking and choosing which balls to go at and the pass is overthrown the referee says no advantage Paul Greedy blows the whistle offside against Terenor what directly in front of the posts so there's no need to guide this one and as I mentioned before absolutely no wind here it's so still that one looks to have the distance it absolutely does that's a super penalty kick and Terenor Still with the 21 points, Bucks move to six. Levi Vaughan to the tail, collected by Melia, and surely we're going to see yet another Terenure Mall. This time, Buccaneers get a good defensive shove on. The referee says that's once. It's the first time the Terenure Mall hasn't moved since the start of this game, and now it starts to rumble forward, but it's picked from the back, and Terenure look to break through the gap. Really good work at that breakdown from Cahill Walsh but Terenure still have once again the pole interfering with our view and Levi Vaughan on another carry the hooker's been busy Benny inside big carry from Harrison Brewer the captain brought to ground Benny skip out pass towards the line and it is touchdown and that is the fourth try of the game for Terenure but there isn't much celebrations it seems as though someone may have hurt themselves going over Terran, your player, slow to get to their feet. You'd have to hope they're okay. The penalty the try has been scored. Terran, your lead 26 points to six. Very patient build up there from Terran. You can see that they had their pods organised and just the width that Benny is getting on his passes off the, the fours coming around the corner. It's just really, really getting on the outside shoulder of Buccaneers. Just doing the damage. Have Buccaneers managed to get over this and interfere with it? Referee says no. Slow ball though. And then Benny into midfield. Thornton hands on it. Little pop, reverse pass, and out towards the winger Craig Adams. Adams on the run. Has he got space to run through? Hall to ground, but gets his pass off. How he managed to, don't know. Terenure still have. Attacking now that ball a little behind. Players have to check their runs. So quick to go through the hands, Terran, you're so dangerous. And lovely little step, and a two lovely little steps. Craig Adams. Terran, you're showing options everywhere. And Campbell Classen on the break, stepping back inside. Oh, just to her brought down, pops it up for Adam LeGrew. And Adam LeGrew touches down to make it 31 6. And Campbell Classen is going to have his front row union card taken off him <laughs> after this match is over. Explosive pace from the front row, and he puts Adam Legrew in for a routine score, the second of the game for the fullback. The step from Legrew, 
just tripped before he manages to get that pop up. Good score. Very good. The pace of and the, the quickness of the rooks, even though there, there hasn't that many it's just, Buccaneers are not making, I suppose, the, as many dominant tackles as they would have liked to, but then the speed and the width that Benny is getting on them passes is really hurting Buccaneers and it's just not giving them an opportunity to get set in, in defence and they're quite narrow, so they're definitely punishing them. They're stacking up their options yet again. Will they pick and drive? Will they go to the backs? Into midfield it goes. A little shovel pass. Slow ball coming back this time round. Once again, a turnover at the edge of the 22 where it counts. And it looks like all the work there done by Sean O'Connell yet again. His second turnover in a two minutes. And the referee says that's half time. There were some stoppages during the course of the half for injury. The Buccaneers put that one into touch and say that's enough for now. We need to regroup. We need to reorganise. The score at half time is 31 6. And uh, on balance, would you call that fair, Michelle Clark? So probably a reflection of the attacking threat from Terrenor. They've ran from deep, they've got turnovers, they've got offloads. Um, so, unfortunately for Buccaneers, yes. But you can see there, they're kind of setting back into the game. But Sean O'Connell's got two really important turnovers there in their own 22. So they're, they're knowing now when to go in, when to look for that turnover rather than just leave it. Um, that's where Terrenor aren't putting people into the ruck. The turnover opportunities are there rather than fill the fill the pitch because um, Benny is just throwing that ball very wide and it's really putting uh, Bucks under pressure. Let's get into that left corner. To ground it eventually goes and Hanley tried the little thing through but it hasn't worked. It's bouncing awkwardly and it's bouncing loose and suddenly it looks as though it's going to pop up for Adamelia and it's collected just about in the backfield and suddenly Buccaneers need to do something with this ball. It'll show and go just outside the old try line from Evans and he's under pressure. Bucks do really well to reorganise and get their hands on that. Evans under pressure from Adam Melia. Absolutely great maturity there from Evans to collect that ball. First needs to get back there, collect it and, and then secure it and not get turned over. Really well done from the new cap, senior cap for Buccaneers tonight. First senior rugby game for the fullback. And eventually it's kicked clear. Buccaneers lost yards. Ladam LeGrew collects it and flings it into midfield. And Craig Adams goes on a run. And he's seen an inside gap. He shoots through it. And it's the easy score for Craig Adams. He's going to walk all the way in. The gap opened up for him. That's the second one of those we've seen in this game where the box defence was caught ever so slightly napping. And that's the second try of the game for Craig Adams and an easy score. Just unfortunate that the clearance kick didn't get the distance that they needed. There was a lot of people outside Adams there that he could have given the ball to. He just saw that there was a bit of disconnect on the inside. Enough box players to stop them or slow them down. Alan Benny to Thornton. Thornton finding players, queuing up and waiting for it. And it spun all the way out and back inside. Terran, you're just always showing options and showing potential to carry. To the deep field they go again. The step back inside is good from O'Neill and popped up into the hands of Craig Adams. But Buccaneers this time closing the door and putting pressure on that Terranure ball. They want to be careful not to overplay it. Adam Melly, a lovely pass outside. This time Terranure get the yards that they want out of it. And suddenly there's a gap to race through and Terranure making yards in the carry. And Buccaneers weren't organised enough. Popped up inside and it's easy for Thornton, Thornton offloads, thrown behind, blind pass into the hands of Andrew Keating and Keating outside it and it stepped back inside and it looks as though Lawler was on his way and he just trips and loses his footing inside the box 22. Benny to midfield, the little dink over the top is going to bounce, is it going to bounce well? Yes it is and it's going to be finished on the far side. Craig Adams, it looks like, all the way on the other side. He's throwing into this Terran Your line out. To the back it goes. It's sloppy, but it's collected. And Benny tips it on. Really well done from the scrum half. Little tip on pass. Benny's at the back. Into midfield. And Terran Your have a gap to run into, and they do run into it. And it's on to Adam LeGrew. And LeGrew is going to run in his hat trick try. And just like that, it's simple stuff from Terenor for the finish and that's a hat-trick for Adam LeCrew a super finish dangerous stuff they can do it from absolutely anywhere the line-out was not accurate and still somehow they managed to attack from the halfway line and LeCrew finishes with a burst of pace 
but he looks still to be a little bit winded from. Yeah, unfortunately, um, Buccaneers just sat back and they're kind of not very well connected uh, defensively. So one person's going up, one person's sitting back, and it's just creating that dog leg and tearing your spotting it and just making the way through it. And we're giving themselves a pretty easy run in there. It was just defensive errors there. One person sat back. You know, only to come up together, especially if you're worried about the inside outside. And they have threats, but the ball, if this is forward territory, they're not passing, they're not getting this ball out. It is taken, it's a little sloppy, but Buccaneers still have it. They don't set up a mall to ground, it goes just five metres out. Forwards calling for support options, and that's a huge tackle, a massive tackle from Michael Melia to stop Buccaneers in their tracks. Backwards they go in contact, Terenuro's defence still mean. Out the back it goes. Lovely little loop ball and a wide pass heading towards the touchline and a step back inside. Well, it looked like it was on for Robert Tape. But he couldn't get there for a finish. And so Buccaneers are still metres out and probing at the Terenure defence. Brewer getting some work done. Hopkins see space here on the left side. Little pop outside yeah. and into the hands of Tape. And it is scored. The thumbs up from the touch judge. Robert Tape has Buccaneers' first try of the game and no more than they deserve for all of the effort and endeavour. They make the score 64-11 and a chance to add two extras as we head into the last 10 minutes of this match. Brilliant attack in the 22 there from Buccaneers. They pulled him one way and you can see Frank Hawkins having a look before he can get to that rook. Sees it's a bit of a mismatch and it's just 3v2. And just pops in the corner. Brilliant. There was a little decoy from uh, Ross Murphy Sweeney. He showed hands and it drew just a fraction of doubt from the Terranure defenders. Terranure still have. A little pick and go at the easy, soft shoulders. And Thornton popped up. And as they're carrying options outside, still piling forward and not being brought to ground. And Buccaneers need to organise themselves. Popped up and moving through, and a little show and go. Lovely little reverse pass. Keating stepping inside. He's brought to ground five metres out. That was Champagne Rugby from Terranure. And the try line is beckoning. They're looking to close this one out with some icing on the cake. Benny is caught in possession. Five metres out. Terranure still have. We're into the last minute of this game. And still heading towards the line. Terranure. The little go, the little pick at the edge, and Terranure have their try. They've scored just around the corner to make it 69 points to 13. And the referee says, that's that. Game over. And the final whistle. Oh, is it not? Looked as though the players were beginning to congratulate each other. But there is still this conversion to come at 69-13. Who will take it this time round? It is the number 10, Thornton. Thornton slots it over the bar. And that is the final whistle. 71 points to 13 in Lakelands. And you have to feel for Buccaneers. They had all of the heart and all of the endeavour in the world. But Terranure are just that dangerous. Terranure displayed how great they were today. They were so good at the attacking line. Their counter-attack, when it, when it, wherever they received the ball, deep or high... It was just excellent counter, and I think Buccaneers just a bit of twos and threes midfield, a few dog legs. But I have to say, Buccaneers in the second half, they just really they showed up, they turned up, and it was a much better display from them. And I think it was a better uh, reflection of how good they can be. And uh, it's very positive for the future. A lot of uh, under 20s there, some under 19s, um, some young players there who got to play against a very good team. I think it's just brilliant for them to get that experience now, and then it can potentially get them onto a bench or a starting team for the AIL remainder three games, which are very important.